Alright, so let's go ahead and go into stocks. Um, in stocks, you can go ahead and add or subtract any business or um, pretty much any person, any stocks you have on here. Let's go ahead and look at Google Stocks. In the bottom, you can scroll through either um, starts off on news or market cap and uh, their high, low, their volume, all of that. If we scroll to the right, we have their, uh, we have a data chart of their stocks over the months, years, um, one day. Let's go ahead and click on one day here. If I can do it. As you can see, there's one day or one week, one month, three months, six months, one year, and then two years are your options. If we scroll over once more, we get all the latest news about Google and anything they have released or have done lately. I you can click on info in the bottom right hand corner and go ahead and add or subtract your stocks. Uh, it shows you the price, percentage, market cap, and all of that. So that's about all for stocks. Let's go ahead and go to the home screen here. And as we go to the home screen here, we can go ahead and look at weather. And the weather application, we can view our weather for today. And uh, another seven-week forecast. If we scroll over to the um, left or right, whichever one you have, you can add more weather. As you can see, I have another city in here. In case you have another home or your uh, visiting somewhere for travel or, or whatever whatever you need to do it for. In the bottom right you go ahead and click the info, add or subtract your cities and um, you can do it Fahrenheit or Celsius. Go ahead and press done you can scroll through them or if you only have one then uh, that's all. And it's visually aesthetic. Um, it's aesthetically good in visuals because it has uh, clouds and sunny days or sunny days with clouds on there on the video. That's about all for weather. Let's go ahead and go to the home screen here. And then um, we've also, we can also go under utilities, which is a little folder that comes with the iPhone where it has clock, where in your clock you get the alarm, a world clock, stopwatch, and of course a timer. Uh, then you can also get a calculator, which, you know, it's a calculator. So. <laughs> and then you get a compass, which you can set up on your phone so you can see what direction you're going. And then there's voice notes where you can record notes uh, of your voice. Uh, let's say you're a photographer, or not a photographer, someone who works for a reporting studio or something like that. You can go ahead and record voice notes on here. And let's go ahead and show you how to make some uh, folders. If you're going to hold down on your apps to make them jiggle, as I call it, and you're going to move it over straight on top on top of an application, and it's going to create a folder and either call it, it'll make it into a folder based on, uh, with the name based on, uh, what kind of applications they are. Right now I just made it games, but you can go ahead and adjust that. Go ahead and press the home button. See, like, I can adjust what it says for games or whatever you want to call it. Um, custom folders, anything like that. And, uh, you can go ahead and just click on your applications like that. That's great for when you have a lot of applications and don't want to waste up, uh, all this space right here. Or something like that. And you don't want to just scroll as much, and you can categorize them all into however you would like. And uh, let's go ahead and go over the camera on the phone. It's going to open up the front-facing camera, as you can see. The uh, VGA quality front-facing camera is right here. And we go ahead and look at the top right and press the switch camera button. And it goes to the back, straight into 5 megapixel camera. Uh, you can't really see anything right now. And you go ahead and switch from video to camera. You click right here. See a little shutter appears. goes like that. Switch the camera back around. And uh, on the back facing camera you can do high dynamic range photos. And um, you can also do flash. So let's go ahead and switch back around. High dynamic range off or on. And then you can choose flash off on or auto. And if you want to zoom in you can go ahead and go like this. You can zoom the slider bar and then click right here to view your photos. Yeah, go. Alright, then another application we can go ahead and look at is the iPod, which is another main selling point of the iPhone. Um, as you can see right here, I have it under songs where you can scroll up and down by uh, name of the song, or on the right, there's a slider bar, which I don't know if you guys can see, but you can go ahead and go by all of the uh, A through Z, or numbers, of your... Uh, iPod. In case you have a lot of songs, that's great. Or you can scroll to the very top and search. Search right here. Oh, I can't click on it today. 
Okay, yeah, so there you go. You can go ahead and search. Press cancel. You can also go by your artist and see what kind of artist you have in here. And go ahead and click on your artist and then different albums they may have. Your playlist, of course, any playlist you have from your iTunes will sync straight to your iPhone. Um, videos, you can have videos, uh, movies, whatnot on here. And then uh, if you go on more, you have uh, albums, audiobooks, uh, comp compositions, composers, genres, iTunes U, podcasts. You go ahead and edit all of that and uh, adjust what's down here in the bottom in case you don't like what's there. You want to replace artists with uh, audiobooks or genres, whatnot. You can go ahead and press done and go back. When you turn the iPod, I mean the iPhone sideways, when you're in iPod, at least it should. Hold on a second, let me. I believe you have to be in songs. Go in songs, turn it sideways. You get this cover flow look, which you can scroll through all your music like this. You tap on a song, it'll turn it around, show you all of the uh, songs inside of that album. So let's go ahead and look at another album. I don't think I have any with. Alright, here we go, this one right here. Click on it. All of the songs from that artist or album right there, and you can play them straight from that. Let's go ahead and bring it back into portrait mode, and you can click on now playing pretty much anywhere where you get a high speed scrubber at the top, volume at the bottom, along with play, pause, skip, um, slash uh, fast forward, rewind, and you can put a repeat on, repeat the um, playlist, repeat songs or just repeat that one song you can choose genius shuffle and you can press top right and you can rate the song five stars or whatever you want whatever you feel it deserves go ahead and go back and uh, that's about all for the iPod on the iPhone 4 this is gonna wrap up my review for today and if you guys have any questions or uh, suggestions feel free to leave a comment down in the bottom below and uh, subscribe guys alright bye